What is going on guys? My name is Brent and I am so excited to announce that in this tutorial series I'm going to be showing you how to create the game Flappy Birds. We will be programming this game in Java using the libgdx development framework and the end result will be a game that we can run on our Android phones, iOS phones, uh, we can run it on desktop, the web, and even Blackberries. So if you want to know how to turn this code into this game I want you to go ahead and stick with me. So before I start, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about the requirements that you're going to need before we uh, get started. Um, first off, uh, this is not a beginner's level course. Uh, you're going to need to know uh, how to program in Java at the uh, advanced beginner slash intermediate developer level. Um, if you are just brand new and you just want to follow me and type in exactly what I type, you can totally do that. I'm not going to guarantee that you're going to learn anything or really understand what's going on, but you can certainly do that. Um, you're going to need a IDE for uh, Java. I recommend using Android Studio. It's what I'm using here. Um, if you don't have that, you can go ahead and get it at Android uh, dot com uh, just google android studios go ahead and download and install that and of course you're going to need uh the libgdx uh, framework so if you go ahead and go to libgdx you click uh, download the setup app you'll get a jar file and i'm going to show you how to run that so once you run uh, the file that you download from libgdx uh, you're going to get this uh, we're going to go ahead and name our file i'm going to use uh, flappy demo and then the package, you can name whatever you want. Uh, by convention, use your um, web domain, brunarelli.com, and I'm gonna put uh, Flappy, uh, I'll just put game. Um, this is the game class, the Java class that we'll be using. Um, I'm going to name it uh, Flappy Demo. And then the destination, you can uh, set up your project directory anywhere. I'm gonna just go ahead and set it up on my desktop. Uh, create a new folder here, uh, Flappy Demo, save it in there. Then you'll need to point uh, to your Android SDK. I've installed mine separately from uh, Android Studios. If you've downloaded Android Studios, it comes uh, with the Android SDK. Uh, if you don't have uh, Android Studios, uh, you can go to their Android website. I uh, click on installing the SDK and you can download the standing uh, standalone SDK tools. Okay, now continuing on, we're going to keep uh, the libgdx version out of his. I am on version uh, 1.6.2. Um, I, you can select which uh, devices you are wanting to port to. Uh, in this series, I'm just going to be focusing on the desktop version and the Android version. I'm not going to worry about the web and the iOS versions, uh, but know that it's just as simple as what we're going to go ahead and do. Um, extensions, we're not going to use anything, but maybe uh, Box2D. I'm going to keep that checked, but uh, we may not even use that. Show third-party extensions, um, we're just going to cancel that. Go to advanced, um, and we're going to, for Android Studios, uh, we're going to say that we're going to use the IDEA uh, project files. So I'm going to save that. If you're using Eclipse, go ahead and use Eclipse. We'll save that. Then we're going to generate our files. Now I'm going to pause the video uh, right here uh, because it takes a little bit to uh, install. So once all the project files are generated, you're going to see build successful. Uh, once that's done, you can go ahead and close out that. Um, open up your Android Studios and import a non-Android Studio project. Navigate to uh, the folder that you set up your project files in. Um, in my case, it's the Flappy Demo. And click OK. Now, again, I'm going to pause the video because uh, Android Studio is going to recreate and adjust some of those files, uh, and then it will load up completely. So let's wait. So actually, that took no time at all. But once everything is loaded up, you're going to see in your project directory, you're going to see uh, three packages, uh, the Android package, uh, the core package, and the desktop package. Um, in order to run, we're going to be testing most of our application uh, in desktop mode. And then when we get to certain points, we'll test it on our actual Android device. Uh, but in order to uh, test in our desktop mode, we have to create a new run configuration. 
So you're going to click on that little uh, Android button up here and click edit configurations. We'll click this little plus sign here and go to application. Um, oops. Let's see. Plus sign application. We're going to name this desktop uh, with a... Uh, we're going to use the class path of the module is the desktop. Um, the main class will be the desktop launcher. That's the class that gets run when we hit the uh, run button. And then uh, the working directory is actually uh, the Android, um, let's see, Android assets folder. And by default, uh, libgdx uh, looks for all of its resources in the android um, assets folder so we're going to make that our working directory so all of our music um, uh, image files texture files and stuff like that will go in the android uh, assets folder so that's just what we're saying there we'll click apply and okay so we can go ahead and hit this run uh, button up here and we'll see uh, what uh, uh, libgdx starts us off with which is the bad logic uh, logo on a red screen so that is it for this video i look forward in, in seeing you into the next one where we'll actually start uh, working on our game uh, if you have any questions comments or concerns go ahead and post them below i'm pretty good about getting back to everybody if you like this video go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you're feeling generous check out my patreon page i'd greatly appreciate it. and then i'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching